All right, guys, we are about 30 miles down pins. Surf fishing today with the one and only Ting Master. Got my boy Ian, my brother Isaiah. We're setting up right now. Sun's about to come up. Set up all these surf rods, put our rod holders. Try to get on some pompano today. We're gonna set up, once we get set up, show y'all how we're gonna rig up. Hopefully it's a good day. Using some big rods today. I think this is a 13 foot rod. I got my van stall, the VR200. Got a whole bunch of avids, the go Cabo. Van stall, some smaller rods, maybe uh, cast for some reds, trout, flounder. Um, I got about 50 pound braid, and then I tied it to about a 20 foot leader with 60 pound line, and then connected it to our pompano rig. Pompano rig is 25 pound line. I've got a five ounce surf, surf weight at the bottom, two drop rigs with the little floats, and we're just gonna rig it up with a piece of shrimp on one of them, and then we're gonna have a piece of this fish gum. I haven't tried this fish gum out. Pomp candy, gonna give it a try. Okay, we're getting set up, we got all the rod holders put out. Ian's gonna catch some mullet right now. Water looks really good. We got about one foot seas today. We're thinking it's gonna be a really good day, guys. My bottom hook, I'm gonna put a little piece of shrimp. You can peel your shrimp, but you don't have to. I mean, if you're not getting any bites, you can definitely try it. But you're gonna put the shrimp, and you need this a little elastic. I'll show you why. You ain't got some mullet already, nice. Break that off. All right, breakfast of champions. <laughs> Things eating churches already. And you're just gonna wrap your bait. It don't matter how you wrap it. Just wrap it on there really good because whenever you make these long casts, these big rods, heavy surf weights, shrimp's just gonna fly off. And the fish are still gonna eat your bait with this. Yeah, you gotta have that little spool, that elastic. Keep your bait on the hook, just like that. And then with this other one, other hook, gonna put a little piece of fish gum. Never tried fish gum before, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. Just gonna cut a little piece off. Good to have a pair of scissors. Nice, Ian. Gonna hook this fish gum on here twice. And there we have it. We're ready to cast out. Isaiah was freelining mullet over here. He's got a nice fish on. Pulling drag. Freelining, right? Freelining a mullet over here in the first gut. Isaiah's got either a red or a trout. Woo Let's go. Oh! Isaiah lost that big fish on the mullet. His pomp rod went off. First pomp of the morning. Hold it up, bro. Hell yeah. Hey, that's a decent one. Yes, sir. First of many. Isaiah hooked up to a pretty big fish. Got that pompano. We're having some difficulties with my rod. I, I don't know. One of the guides is broken. I haven't been able to cast out a pompano bait, but Ting's gonna get me set up over there while I freeline this mullet. Oh, he's got blood. Just coming right here in the first gut. Man, that fish Isaiah had was just, it was taking drag, dude. He thinks it was a trout, but I don't know. It, it seemed a little too big to be a trout. Y'all seen me freeline before. Woo. All I got is a kale hook. My finger mullet. my bail open this is a seven foot seven six falcon with a 3000 bg perfect little setup to come out here and freeline like this see if i can hook whatever 
Isaiah lost. There's, de there's got to be more. Like, he he was not freelining very long at all. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Is he still on there, bro? Good cast, Ting. Look at that cast. Ian! Yeah! <laughs> That's Ian's first Texas Palm. Let me see it, Ian. Let me see it. <laughs> yeah. Number three. Isaiah's got two. That hasn't come out yet. Yep. That's three pumps in the cooler. I'm the only one not fishing for pumps. I'm the only one that doesn't have a rod. All right, I was freelining. Wasn't having too much luck. My mullet was just getting swept away. I put a little jig head on. Hopefully I'm able to hook up with the jig head. Should keep the mullet down a bit off the surface. That's a good pump, bro. <clears throat> Man, Ian's rod bent over. That's crazy how strong these pumps are. That was sick. Hell yeah. Ian and Isaiah had never Isaiah had never caught a pump period. And Ian had never got on Texas pumps. He caught some in Florida. It's, everything's bigger in Texas though. Yeah, Ian's for sure got a nice one. Yeah, that's a good pump. Got one, got one, got one. Ah, oh, it's a lady. I think it's a lady. I saw it hit it. I'm on though. Oh, he came on. Yeah, I think they're just ladies. Oh, yeah. Phew! I'm on something. I don't know what I got. He's going to the side. That's a pump, baby. Come on. Isaiah's over there freelining mullet, so I saw his rod go off. Had to pick it up. Oh, yeah, that's a nice pump. Oh, Ian's getting a bite. Hey, that's a good one. Oh, that's a big one. Dang, that's a nice one. Dang. Wow, that's a really nice one. Let's go, bro. Hey, oh my God. That is a Texas pump right there. That is a Texas pump. Oh my God. Look at that. God, he lets me hold him. Calm down. Wow. Solid pump. Hey, he ate the fish gum. Not sure if it's a pump. It's got a little bit more weight to it. If it is a pump, it's it's a big one. No, it's a freaking stingray. Yeah. I saw brown. Yeah, it's getting stuck to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's surf fishing. You're gonna catch everything using shrimp and fish bites. Yep. And he's not that small either. Oh uh, yeah, he's sticking down. Uh. <laughs> Nice. Not sure if it's on here, but this one was getting a bite. I 
how so small it is. It might be a small pump. Yeah, it's a tiny pump. Look at that. I don't know. What is this? Is that a pump? Why do you have such long fins? I have no idea. Dang. Comment down below if you know what the heck that is. Oh, yeah. It's small, but it looks like a pump, but they don't have fins like that. It might be an African pump. Sick. New species. That's pretty cool. Show him to y'all. I've never caught one like that. I've never, I've never caught one like that. Look at that. Whoa. My bad. Sorry, dude. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna release him though. Too, too small. Look, he's even got like, look at that. Look at his fins up here. They're sharp. That's cool. Oh, there he goes. Look at his fins in the water. That's so cool. I think I got a good pump. This line went extremely slack. Straight to the side. Uh, nah, what is this? Big old whiting. Big whiting. Dang. I don't know if I got him. Oh yeah, I got something. Whiting, I think. Yeah. These are some pretty solid ones though. Big whitey. Pull that chicken out, we got too much fish in there already. Threw out a fresh piece of ladyfish. Got a nice little black tip shark. All right guys, just move locations. Really haven't gotten on too many pumps today. I think we have like six or seven in the cooler. Got a mixed bag though, got some whiting, all kinds of fish in there. The guys are getting their rods out, I'm setting up mine. See if we can get on, get on some more pumps. At this new spot, we gotta kinda walk out a little further and get it out there. Walking out to the sandbar. The wind's probably pretty bad, picking up a bit. It's an east wind, so it's coming straight shore new spot Isaiah got the first pump hell yeah him and Ian doubled up Ian's got a whiting over there all right guys well that was all the action for the surf it wasn't the best but wasn't the worst day we got on a mixed bag and we took home some pompano and some whiting and I even got a first. I caught a palometa and that's a pretty rare species for over here in Texas. But we're definitely gonna go out there and hit the surf again for some pumps. It's just the weather's been 
horrible lately, but we're gonna keep trying. Hopefully have a video up for y'all next Monday. But if y'all like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we're gonna see you guys next time.